Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Daily Devo. If you remember last time, at least you and I were together, we started a little mini-study in the book of Jude. We find ourselves here still in Jude, verse 1. Of course, there's only one chapter, but last time we looked at bondservant and the significance of that word. Today we see in Jude, verse 1, that he goes on to say this. Jude, a bondservant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are called, sanctified by God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ. Jude is writing his letter to a group of people that he describes in these three very significant ways. He's writing to the early church to believers, these, we could say, attributes or adjectives that he uses to describe them also applies to us. And he says, to those who are, first of all, called. Man, do you know that you and I have been called by God? Peter actually talks about what we've been called out of in 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. Peter says this, this is one of my favorite verses in all of the Bible. Peter says, but you, you and me, were a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, who once were not a people, but are now a people of God who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. We're called. What are we called? First of all, we're called out of something. What are we called out of? We're called out of darkness. Now, that's actually what the word church is. In the Greek, it's the word ekklesia. It means the called out ones. Jesus looked at us and he says, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out of darkness and I'm calling you into my marvelous light. I'm changing you. I'm doing a work in you. I'm getting you out of the darkness of your sin and bringing you into the freedom of my light so that you can serve me. And, and Jude, as he's writing here to the early believers, but to us, he says, man, don't forget, you're called. You're called by God for a purpose. He got you out of that darkness for a reason. But he doesn't just say we're called. He then describes us in this way. He says we're also sanctified, made holy, set apart. You see, we're set apart from the world, and we're set apart for the Lord. Just like we saw there in 1 Peter. Out of darkness into light, from the world, for the Lord. Jesus is doing a work in us. He's making us holy. He's sanctifying us. The Bible talks about how we're being conformed, or molded, or shaped into the image of His Son. We're, you know, we're getting all the us knocked out of us. And we're getting more of Jesus into us. That's what sanctification is. So he's writing to those who are called. That's us. He's writing to those who are sanctified, set apart. That's us as well. And who sanctifies us? Who calls us? He says, by God the Father. And here's what's really cool about this. And preserved in Jesus Christ. God the Father calls us. God the Father sanctifies us. You and I are preserved in Jesus. What does this mean we're preserved? Well, think about it in the idea of food. If you have maybe like a, a Twinkie. You know, Twinkies are known for being loaded with preservatives. If you have a Twinkie and you sit it out on, I don't know, a picnic table in the middle of August for a few days, a few weeks, a few months, honestly, that Twinkie outside of the package there in the elements, it's not going to change much. It's not going to rot because it's preserved. It's full of preservatives. Well, now take maybe like a nice fresh apple off of a tree. They're starting to get ready. Take a bite out of that apple and sit it on the same picnic table and leave it to the elements. What happens to that nice fresh apple? It rots away. Why? No preservative. The Twinkie endures. The Twinkie remains. The Twinkie doesn't rot from the world because it's preserved. Now, it's preserved by GMOs and other things, not the best for us. You and I are preserved by Jesus. What does that mean? Jesus keeps us fresh. Jesus keeps us good. Us in this world without Him, we'd rot away. We'd get stinky. We'd rot. We wouldn't be useful. But in Him, with Him, He preserves us. He keeps us fresh. He keeps us good. 
Let's go back to that analogy. You got the Twinkie, you got the apple. What if you take that apple and you, I don't know, cut it up. You put it in a jar and you put a lid on it and you seal it. All of a sudden this thing that left out to the elements would rot away. Now it's preserved in the jar. We could say that's a neat picture of Jesus and it's sealed so that the air can't get to it. And the Bible talks about how you and me are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So imagine us, we're an apple that, that left to our own selves would rot away because of the corruption that exists in this world. But we're in Jesus. We're in the jar, and the Holy Spirit has sealed us. So the corruption of this world is not going to cause us to decay. You know, I know there's a, a lot of kids out there, are, they're actually starting their first day of school today. Public school starts today. And you know what, you go out into the world, you go out into public school maybe, and it's, you feel yucky. There's a lot of corruption that goes on. Take comfort in knowing that Jesus is preserving you. Spend time with Him and you get regenerated by Him, and don't allow the stuff of this world to, to, to decay you and drain you, because it doesn't have to, because we're called, because we're sanctified, because ultimately we're preserved in Jesus Christ. He keeps us good. In and of ourselves, there's none good, no, not one, but Jesus keeps us fresh. He keeps us good. He preserves us. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this morning. God, we want to pray for anyone that might be going to school today. Lord, teachers and students. And God, we just pray that um, they'd have a good first day back at school. And Lord, may we just remember who we are in you, what you've done for us. Lord, you've called us because you have a plan for our lives. You've sanctified us. You want us to be out of darkness into light for the purpose that you've called us to. And Lord, may we always remember that we are preserved, that we are kept good. Not because of ourself, but Jesus because of you. Lord, we just thank you for the promises that we find in your word. In your name we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen.